is so good, baby. Honestly, the experience has been probably like a 2 out of 10 so far. My boots. Hello. In the stall next to me, a girl is literally like vomiting. Cheers, yes. biggest. I mean, you've never been there, so you don't know what you're missing, but yeah. And Will was like, I want those ones right there, the glitters. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? How are you? Today's video is so fun because we are in Nashville. We've actually been here for a few days. Today is our last day, which is really sad. We leave tomorrow, but I thought, why not bring you along on a little vlog, what we get up to, you know, just the vibes, the fun vibes, the music, showing you some things. We're gonna be a little bit in Broadway during the day. We're getting coffee, gonna get drinks, going out tonight, just the fun vibes. We've had a really good time. We've spent some time on Broadway, but we spent a lot of time in Midtown, which is where we're staying, which is like a lot less touristy. And we've met some really nice people and had some good food. So anyways, it's my birthday. That's why we're here. We're celebrating my 25th birthday and we've been having a great time um it's cold here of course because it's january but we're about to head out i need to quickly do my hair because we're gonna go down to broadway area for like lunchtime afternoon area and then we'll probably come back to our hotel and then go out tonight but for today's hair i'm just gonna do like a ponytail um with extensions so i'm gonna show you how i put them in and um it's raining kind of so i just want my hair up I'll probably do my hair like down maybe later. So we're gonna just, we're gonna put it up and I'm gonna teach you how I do it. These are the BFB hair fill-ins by the way. I did color them myself recently to match my darker hair. But these, yeah, I think these were originally the 18 inch fill-ins. I've now cut them and stuff. I've had these for like over a year. And it's basically a pack of two, three clips that you just use to almost fill in your natural length. There's different, you know, lengths that comes in colors. Um, and this is the entirety of the set. And I honestly, I love it. So when I'm putting a ponytail in, um, I like to use some extra hair sometimes to create extra volume. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna like clip these clip-ins to each other. So I'm clipping the hair into the bottom of the weft, almost so that it becomes like one weft but it has like double the amount of hair because it has like the full clip in, in it kind of like that and then sometimes i'd clip these in you know separately for my ponytail but today i'm going to do it this way just so that's a bit easier and yeah they're kind of just clipped in like that so it's almost like one weft but with double the amount of hair brush out the hair all right now i'm going to section off like an upside down section in a sense. So all of this hair is gonna be like up in a ponytail. And so when I clip in my clips, you where you put this really does depend on how high you're trying to put your ponytail. Whichever way you do it, you're clipping in the hair this way so that when you put it into a ponytail, it works super well. And then I'm just gonna flip this hair over and clip this like upside down. All right, now you can flip it over. And I'm gonna part out just my top part really fast and then we'll put everything into a ponytail. So I'll just take this little section and clip it up. Yay! And then I'll just take my brush and begin brushing this back and putting this hair into a ponytail. And I'll put my head over and grab all the hair and begin smoothing it out. All right, and now we're just going to secure it. All right, and I clip this. If you've been watching my tutorials for a while, you know the drill. We literally just part it, comb it back, and join it all together in a ponytail. Okay, I don't know if you saw, but with my ponytail, I took uh, the hairband and almost tied it halfway through the ponytail, like looped it around this on a glass loop, not the entire thing. So that way when it sits, you get more natural poof and volume in your hair. Now we're gonna take a little hairspray. I have the Wella hairspray and spray this all. Okay, so this is our ponytail. She's pretty freaking cute and gorgeous. So easy and simple. And honestly, it's giving me like Blake lively, chic gossip girl vibes. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll check back in with you guys. All right, you guys, I just got dressed. So I'm wearing this jacket actually that I got from Amazon and i'm loving it let me see if i can show you over here um we'll have to give you like the full tour when you get back but we have some like b-day decor up and i'll show you the little 
25. Anyways, our room's like a mess, but they're coming to clean it. So that's why I'm not gonna show you everything right now. This little top is from Amazon and it's so cute. It's like a little cropped blazer and it ties in the back. So you can kind of adjust how much it fits you. I think I got it in an extra small and it honestly is still like pretty like roomy. Like it's not like you can tell it's not like skin tight or anything. So just FYI, you don't need to size up or anything. Um, and then I'm wearing these jeans that I actually got in the UK like last year. I can't even remember where, I think next. I think that's what's called. And then of course I got my little cowboy boots on. I'm wearing them under my little ripped jeans. They're super cute, my black boots. Um, they're like come up to like here underneath my pants, but that is what I'm wearing. I need to like throw on a jacket and I may even bring my earmuffs only because it's so freaking cold. But I think I'll just wear this jacket for now. I got this at a thrift store. It's this like super big coat thing with like a hood. It's got layers. That's a good one. I think that's cute. Very cute. And I'm gonna take this purse. Gives me some glitz. This is just from Primark, which is literally like a super cheap store in the UK. Um, kind of like Walmart in price, but clothes and accessories. This is what I'm gonna wear. Will's over here. Older, wiser, hotter. I basically have just shown you all the decor. That's I all. Put, that's all. That's all I put up. But the bed's not made, so he's wearing his Supreme, you know, I does, jeans and some fancy pants sneakers, as per usual. We're okay. gonna head downstairs, and I'm gonna bring my water Three and minutes. get everything going, and we're gonna go get coffee and pastries, I think, to start. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh my Sweet. All right, we finished breakfast and it is freaking freezing outside. It's freezing. Um, we're gonna go to Broadway though, and I want to go into Boot Barn, and we're just gonna walk around it's during dangerous. the day, and we're just gonna see what the vibes are like. Cause we did go at night the other day. I'll give you story time on that in a second. But what is that? Hmm. I don't know what this is, but I kind of vibe with this. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. I'll show you what Broadway looks like during the day though. Dragging us into a food hall, even though we just ate, so. Cheers, big guys. Cheers. I got one for you too as well. Oh, oh come thank on. You. Thank you there so much. Okay. Cheers. This is a rose cremant. We love cremant. If you've been following from our England days. Yeah, it's like perfect. It's so delicious. Oh. Alright, we're leaving. We had the absolute best time. The wine place actually is closing for a private event, so I'm glad we came when we did, but um our server, okay, I'm actually scared I'm gonna like die on these stairs, hold on. Our server, well, Will was named Andrew and he was the nicest guy ever. We literally chatted with him like the entire time. He gave us great wines and yeah, we had a great time. So we're gonna get Prince's hot chicken. Not sure what I'm gonna get, if anything, but Will, look at him, he's behind us. Prince. Prince. He's some food. Prince, I think. And maybe go to Boot Barn because I do wanna go. Yeah. 
Oh, appreciate it, man. We got 20% off for using Apple Pay. 20% for I'll use Apple Pay because it's more convenient. Why are they paying me to use it? We're talking close to the microphone. I don't know what the sound will be like in here. I'm sure it'll be quite loud. Well, that's good. We're waiting for our food. Will got some chicken wings. Tenders. Chicken tenders. He got one mild so that I can eat it. No, no, no. One light mild, light. one mild, and two medium. The light mild might be too mild for me, you know? But we got fries and extra pickles because that's what I want. And I just want the chicken. Yay! Hello. This is medium. Let's see. How is it? Is it hot? I'm eating pickles. It's quite okay. Whoa. So big. Will's checking in for our flight tomorrow and I think he forgot to add back to our flight back. Is this the mild right here? That's the light mild, that's mild. Are you supposed to eat it on the toast? Very typically. Let's try it. This is the one that Will thinks I can handle. Take my pickle. This might be a good babe. A pickle. And a bite. No. Didn't put bags. And we very much have bags, so we're just gonna add those. get dressed and fix up my makeup. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair. I think I wanna wear it down. Or I'm actually gonna put a robe on first, touch up the makeup, figure out I'm doing my hair, and then I think we're going back out. Um, what we shall see, I'm not exactly sure yet. Okay, you guys, I um, put my robe on and took out my hair and officially brushed it through. And my hair has some like good curl in it, left over from like the past days. So I'm just gonna start by clipping in same extensions, but clipping them in to wear my hair down versus wearing it up. And I think I said I wasn't sure what we're doing tonight. I'm still not sure, but we have a few options. I kind of want to go back to Broadway to listen to some live music. I want to go to Tootsie's is what it's called. We went to some of the other places the other night when we first landed, but we landed on a Saturday and it was so busy. And this was the story time. Basically, we went out on a Saturday. I had, had a freaking drink. It was like 10.30 p.m. I was super sober, which isn't anything bad, but very, you know, aware of everything. And we went into, we went to a few places, but we went to the Tin Roof, I think was where it happened on Broadway. And um, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I think I had taken like a sip of like a high noon, a watermelon high noon. And I went to the toilet. It sounded like no one was in there at first, so I just sat down, started peeing, and next to me, in the stall next to me, a girl is literally like vomiting, and I'm hearing like every sound. It's like so quiet in this bathroom besides her doing that, and I literally was, I, it's very common for Broadway <laughs> over the weekend, like people throwing them everywhere essentially is what I've heard, um, and I got the first experience for it literally immediately, and I was literally like felt, it made me feel sick hearing it. Like I've heard people throw it before and I think it really just depends like the headspace you're in. I think I just was like, oh my gosh. Um, most disgusting thing I've ever heard. So that was really fun. And I came out and I told Will, I was like, I am truly disturbed by that, but hopefully she's okay and was okay. But um, that was my story of my first time on Broadway. Um, so we love that. But <laughs> we had a few places we hadn't gone yet on Broadway that we do, you know, you do have to do Broadway but there's a lot of really cool places, obviously, outside of Broadway, um, like in Midtown and stuff. But 
you do have to do Broadway like at least once if you haven't done it, but we didn't fully do it the other night because we got in pretty late for us. And um, tonight, I think we want to do some more music down there, like I had said. And then there's somewhere kind of close to us at this place called Winners that's doing this like, they call it the Whiskey Jam. And tonight's their like 12th anniversary for it. It's like, I might actually put these extensions up higher. Um, it's like this big, silly, big music event. A bunch of people sing. Sometimes more well-known people, sometimes less well-known people, apparently, is what we've been told. Um, so really excited to go there. And yeah, that's kind of our plan live music, drinks, that's really it. Um, so I'm really excited and I have a pretty extra outfit to wear because I haven't worn it yet. It's like this outfit I got from Amazon, so you will see it. Um, it definitely screams tourist, but that is what I am. So I can't be mad at that. And I'm just gonna put in these extensions, get dressed. I don't think I'm gonna do anything really with my hair, maybe add a few curls. And we're just trying to get back out there because we literally leave tomorrow, which is so sad, so. We've had a good time. I think I definitely would like to come back during the summer. It obviously has been super cold and super gray, which is to be expected. And that is why January birthdays are rough, cold everywhere. Maybe next year we go to the Bahamas or something. But yeah, I'm putting in my extensions and then I'll check in with you guys. Okay, you guys, we got dressed. I'm wearing this little set, this like blazer that has these tassels on the arms and I will show you the back. See the tassels in the back of the jacket and then it comes with like a matching pair of little shorts and I got tights on because it's freezing outside and my boots that are beautiful that I got for my birthday from my mom. Will's just putting his shoes on and we're going to go downstairs and get a drink at the bar and then I think we're going to go to Broadway for a bit and then back to Midtown. I think, I think, I think. That's our plan. We've been listening to some country music. I thought you were putting your shoes on. No, I am. No, you're not. What do you mean? Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. You're not putting them on. I'm about to put my shoes on. Hmm. These are our looks. I'll just get my pants on. I definitely do. <laughs> They're shorts. Oh yes, so you do. <laughs> I'm spring. Here we go. Look at the bunny. The white rabbit. <laughs> That's dope. Cheers. Mm. How was it? Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's like dessert. Yeah, can I try some? So good. So good. It's almost like it's like creamy and lemony and Oh yeah, it's nice. Isn't that nice? It's great. It has botanist gin, so. Thumbs up? Yeah. I get seven. Thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan now, babe? Okay, so we're going upstairs and eating some leftover food that we had from yesterday, which we'll show you. Um, and then we're going to Tootsie's, Tootsie's on Broadway. And then we're coming to a whiskey jam somewhere local to us, which I think I already said. Our drinks were delicious. Will said he could not handle the vibes, though. <laughs> tell, tell him. Tell him. Keep it real. The drinks were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I this guy. Okay, the drinks were amazing, but like... I say like the opinions were like very strong on absolutely everything. Like everyone knew the better place. Everyone knew the better drink. Everyone it was like everyone at the bar was trying to one up each other. It was no. Olivia Will heard somebody and a quote say, "Oh, you you ha you have to go there." Oh really? And someone's like, "Oh really?" Blah, blah. I mean, you've never been there, so you don't know what you're missing. But yeah, and Will was like, "I mean, hey." You're people, like, come on. People believe in their, their, I don't know, believe in the things they've had. It was just funny. It was funny, but I was like, uh. Feels like we're in Los Angeles again. Um, come on. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Anyway. That's just but people, though. So. Drinks were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. We got some wine when we arrived for my birthday, so we're having some of that, and then we have some leftover food. So we're gonna eat that. All right. We are actually changing the plan. We are going. Change your plans. Well, we're gonna go to the whiskey jam. I hope it's actually called that. Is it actually called that? I think it's called that. Yeah. Um, we got recommended this, by the way, from somebody we saw at a bar last night who was serving us drinks. And it starts at 8, which it's 8 o'clock now. And we're actually going to go and see the vibe is first because it's right by where we're staying in case it's like so lit that we don't even possibly want to be tempted with Broadway. Why might so, you think it's lit, babe? It's the 13th anniversary or 12th? 12th anniversary. 12th year anniversary. And apparently this place has like had like some of the biggest stars before maybe they were big stars or something on the stage. I'm not exactly sure. It's like Bluebird Cafe, but not Bluebird Cafe, you know, those sort of vibes. I have no idea what that reference meant. 
Bluebird Cafe, I think, has had a lot of big stars oh, ran do, random, music randomly show up. Oh. That was always a thing. It's like potentially Taylor Swift could walk out or like no one walks out. That's what the guy said. I don't really know. But we're going to go. I put my hair up half up, half down because it's kind of bothering me. But it's freezing cold, so I got gloves on. Let's go. It's so bloody freezing. It's cold. Like In a word, actually cold. Actually, tomorrow, the high is 38. So the high is like 38 30. for English viewers. It might honestly be like 38 right 34 now. is freezing. Like 34 is zero, so 38 is like two, you know three. Where you're going right now? Yeah, just down the road. Okay. Okay. Surely this is a good sign, right? craziest night ever so basically i had said that we were gonna go to broadway but we never ended up making it because sure. will, will is just eating all the snacks right now we were like okay the place is on the way to broadway so like let's just walk by winners is what it was called and see if it looks really busy because it said it started at 8 p.m um, but it went to midnight. So we're like, let's just see if it looks busy. If it looks kind of dead, then we'll go to Broadway for a bit and come back. Anyways, we go and there's already a line out the door. So we're like, okay, like we've been told this is good. Let's just commit. Stand in line. We're probably only in line for like 15 minutes because it was like 8.20. Like the event had just started. Anyway, we went in, made some friends that we were in line with. It was great. Stayed for the entire night. It is now... 11 43 so it's actually not too late which is actually kind of nice and uh, for a monday night um <laughs> people were really leaving early of course so like we have work where will and i were like we don't so but it was so incredible so the last person playing was nate smith which i think is like the big you know person that everybody came to see because right now his song is a number one country song and it's so good and I had recognized it. I feel like I know a lot of country music, but don't necessarily know the artist. So when we were doing our research previously, I was like, wait, no, I do know this song. Um, and he has lots of other music, which is amazing. And he played tonight, but our friend and I like kind of somehow like got skirted to the front because a bunch of people left. It was this whole thing. So Will was further back, but you told me just to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. You're like, just live your life, enjoy it. So I got some footage really close and he was so nice and so good. His band was so talented. The music was insane. We're both kind of deaf, but no. There, there's like a ringing in yeah, my Yeah, it was so loud, but that's just always how that is if you're that close <laughs> and by the speakers. Um, but yeah, like he got escorted on stage like right by us with like some of his like bodyguards slash like friends <laughs> or something. And so they ended up like blocking my view and it was really nice because the security guard like saw it and he was like, oh, let me move you over. So I got to be like even more central to him playing you know so that was kind of a win so i'm eating goldfish and then i would have the lyrics for all the songs up on my phone oh yeah because i didn't know the lyrics literally will we'll put the clip in now literally will for like different songs earlier on in the night were you doing that for him as well mm -hmm. oh will literally had his phone up with the lyrics on his phone and it was so funny um but hey he was singing along, so can't hate the player, you know? Don't hate the the game. Yeah, so we had a great night though. So we, did end, we didn't end up going to Broadway, and honestly, we haven't spent a ton of time on Broadway, but I mean, Broadway is super fun. It's super classic, music playing basically all the time, and I think definitely like not being there on a weekend is definitely preferable if you like it more chill, if yeah. you like the really intense like party scene. So I think we would have enjoyed it tonight, but nonetheless, like, Tonight was great though. Yeah, it was so good because it was in so many incredible artists who like are making amazing music and just getting to hear it in person was so cool. So yeah, that was basically our night. Um, 
We got a fun little day planned tomorrow and then we leave tomorrow afternoon. So we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna snack and that's basically all we're doing tonight. And this vlog is almost over, but not yet. Cause I think we're doing a moonshine tasting in the morning. So pray for us. <laughs> it's gonna come bright and early, but we have to do before our flight. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Morning, getting coffee. Hoping this resurrects me. All right, we made it. We're packed up. We're going to get breakfast or a snack, and then we're going to the moonshine tasting. Isn't that right? That's right. Um. So we'll see. I'm still recovering. Need to hydrate. Need to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our Uber is five minutes away. Okay. Got another coffee. So we just got dropped off with all of our suitcases, wherever they are, you can't even see them. And apparently it doesn't open until 12 because they decided to deep clean today. Which I guess so we're is here, the worst thing in the we're world. here like 15 minutes early, so we're gonna see if we can leave our bags here, go get breakfast, Currently then come back. It's only 11.13 a.m. And we actually got here, well, we yeah, actually got so to the house early. Like that's that is so- That's a win. That's a win, a win for us, so. I wonder if that taco place, the white dog taco shop. So we're gonna see, hopefully we can at least leave our bags and then we can like wander and go get food or something and then come back. Because we really wanted to try this, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, this is our breakfast Starbucks. And unfortunately they could not take our bags. So we're here. <laughs> we made it. Honestly, the experience has been probably like a 2 out of 10 so far. No flexibility. Not that impressed. <laughs> no flexibility from anyone. It's fine. We're just, you know, taking a moment. But we're going to try, obviously, the moonshine. And if it's great, happy, really happy days. It's straight back. Don't okay. think about it. Okay. I mean, it is tiny, it's so I mean... 68%. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it hits, yeah. That's honestly though, that's not the worst thing I've ever. Yeah. Alcoholic pickles, 20%. Yeah. She gave me some juice as well. What is it like? Here you go. They just taste like pickles. Do they? dangerous. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a little. Yeah, you, yeah there is, but. There's also an extra in there, isn't there? Those are good. She said, it's, you said like a popsicle? Is yeah. that what you compared it to? Oh, mix it with Sprite would be dangerous. Oh yeah, that's really yummy. It does taste like um like an Otter Pop or like something. Yeah. yeah. Melted. That's good. Oh my gosh, it tastes like just like candy. Mm. All right, let's try this. Peach. Oh, it smells so good. Peach yeah, the skin. peach is nice. So, pan, that's the good. whole, that's good. everything is just like, the total is like a shot yeah. and a half. Of so alcohol it's, yeah. it's actually, I was crazy that I thought it was going to be, because I was so, like, oh, no, so many. We were a bit concerned, but no, it's okay. Chocolate whiskey. Gotta stay hydrated. I got Hershey's Kiss, apparently. Cheers. Maybe okay, we should get a picture, too. dangerous. That is crazy. Wow. Yeah, that was good. There we go. This is him, yeah. All right. We finished our tasting, get an Uber. Now we're going to go get barbecue food before our flight. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got brisket, mac and cheese, beans, and banana pudding. Come on. Okay, we made it to the airport. In time. Oh yeah, plenty of time. And the... Show me. that, show that. Me. <laughs> Cute. Um, the moonshine tasting was delicious. Um, I think we had said at first we were a little bit underwhelmed. Unimpressed. Um, we were like, <laughs> we just basically, yeah, it was fine. Kind of long story. But it ended but well. It was really good. The lady who gave us our tasting was so nice. It was delicious. Got some amazing barbecue. The guy at the restaurant, the barbecue restaurant, was so nice. And yeah, basically Nashville was a great experience. Very cold today. It was 34 degrees, and it said it felt like 28. So yeah, excited to get back to a little bit more sunshine. But we had a great time. 
I had a great birthday, so did you enjoy it? Had a great time. Yeah, a wonderful um, time. So that's the end of the vlog. We love you guys. We'll see ya in the next video. Bye. <laughs>